classifying a meteorite requires several steps of observation and scientific analysis to determine its mineral composition, structure, and chemical properties. Below are the basic steps to classify a meteorite. Observe the surface and shape. Examine the exterior of the meteorite. Most meteorites have a fusion crust formed as they enter Earth's atmosphere. Additionally, they often have a dark color and a glossy surface. Magnetic test. Many meteorites contain iron and are therefore magnetic, attracting a magnet slightly. However, some types, such as carbonaceous chondrites, CI, CM, are non-magnetic. Mineralogical analysis. Under a polarizing microscope or electron microscope, characteristic minerals such as olivine, pyroxene, and plagioclase can be identified. The mineral composition is crucial for classifying meteorites into groups such as chondrites, achondrites, or differentiated meteorites. Chemical compositions analysis. Use XRF spectroscopy, or ICPMS, to determine the ratios of elements such as iron, nickel, magnesium, and silicon. These ratios help in identifying the meteorite type, e.g. Chondrites generally have more iron nickel than a chondrites. Classification by meteorite group, chondrites, primitive meteorites containing chondrules, small spherical mineral inclusions, and typically rich in iron nickel. A chondrites, meteorites with a homogeneous mineral composition, lacking chondrules, and originating from bodies that have undergone melting processes. Metallic and iron meteorites, primarily composed of iron and nickel, with a characteristic Widmanstetten pattern. Measure density. The density of a meteorite can aid in identification since a metal-rich meteorites typically have higher densities. Meteorite classification is a complex process requiring high expertise and modern laboratory equipment. Scientists often use multiple techniques to confirm classification results. Chondrites are one of the most common types of meteorites and are considered primitive meteorites because they contain ancient minerals and chemicals that have not undergone melting processes. Chondrites are classified based on their chemical composition, mineralogy, and the structure of their chondrules. Below are the main classification criteria. Classification, based on chemical composition, carbonaceous chondrites, CI, CM, CO, CR, CV, CK. These meteorites contain high amounts of carbon compounds and sometimes organic compounds. Ordinary chondrites, H, L, LL. The most common group of meteorites with varying amounts of iron nickel. The H group has the highest iron content, while LL has the lowest. Enstatite chondrites, E, H, E, L. Composed of enstatite, a type of pyroxene, and have very low or no iron oxide, originating from sulfur-rich, oxygen-poor bodies. Classification. Based on thermal and aqueous alteration, chondrites are classified from type 1 to type 7 based on the extent of thermal or water-related alteration. Types 1 and 2 have undergone aqueous alteration, leading to mineral changes commonly found in CI and CM groups. Type 3, nearly pristine meteorites, unaltered by thermal or aqueous processes. Types 4 to 6, have experienced thermal alteration, leading to changes in structure and recrystallization of minerals. Classification, based on chondrule structure, chondrites contain chondrules, small spherical mineral inclusions formed in a microgravity environment. The structure, size, and composition of chondrules play a role in classification, particularly within ordinary chondrite groups. Classifying chondrite meteorites requires a combination of mineralogical, chemical, and structural analyses for accurate results. Achondrites are a type of stony meteorite that have experienced processes like melting and differentiation, which distinguish them from primitive chondrites. Unlike chondrites, they do not contain chondrules and are more similar to terrestrial igneous rocks. Achondrites are classified based on their composition, formation process, and source body. Here's how they are typically classified. 1. Classification by parent body or source origin. 2. Subgroups based on mineralogy and texture. 3. Degree of metamorphism and melting. 4. Unique groups. Classification by parent body or source origin. Lunar achondrites. These are fragments of the moon 
and contain mineral compositions similar to lunar basalts, often with low iron content and specific isotopic signatures. Martian achondrites, also known as SNC meteorites, Scher, gotites, naclites, and chassignites, these are thought to originate from Mars with mineral characteristics that match Martian soil and atmosphere data. Asteroidal achondrites, these come from differentiated parent bodies, mainly asteroids. They include various subgroups based on their formation and mineralogy. Subgroups based on mineralogy and texture. Eucrates, basaltic achondrites with a fine-grained texture, mainly composed of pyroxene and plagioclase. They are thought to come from asteroid 4 Vesta. Diogenites, coarse-grained achondrites dominated by orthopyroxene, also linked to Vesta. Howardites, brecciated achondrites that contain fragments of both eucrite and diogenite, making them a composite type associated with Vesta. Uralites, unique achondrites with high carbon content and sometimes diamond inclusions, possibly originating from a large carbon-rich asteroid. Angrites, very rare magnesium-rich achondrites with a distinctive mineral composition, thought to come from a unique parent body. Degree of metamorphism and melting. Some achondrites show evidence of partial melting or have been significantly metamorphosed, which affects their texture and mineral structure. This degree of alteration helps to further categorize them, particularly among the asteroidal achondrites. Unique groups, ungrouped achondrites, some achondrites do not fit well into established categories and are thus classified as ungrouped. These meteorites often have unique mineralogy or textures not yet linked to any known parent body. A chondrite classification involves detailed analysis of mineral content, isotopic composition, and textural properties, often requiring advanced laboratory methods like electron microscopy and mass spectrometry. Iron meteorites are classified based on their chemical composition and crystal structure, using two primary classification systems, structural classification and chemical classification. Structural classification. This method relies on the crystal structure of iron nickel phases as observed on cross sections. After acid etching, iron meteorites display a distinctive crystal structure known as the Widman Stetten pattern. Based on this pattern, iron meteorites are divided into three main groups. One, hexahedrites, composed primarily of chamakite and lack a clear Widman Stetten pattern. Instead, they exhibit Neumann lines. Two, Octahedrites show a well-defined Widmanstetten pattern with parallel bands of two minerals, camasite and taenite. This is the most common type of iron meteorite. 3. Ataxites, very rich in taenite and usually lack the Widmanstetten structure due to high nickel content. Chemical classification. This classification is based on the nickel content and trace elements such as gallium, germanium and iridium. The chemical composition divides iron meteorites into over 13 chemical groups, including 1. Group IAB contains small amounts of sulfur and phosphide compounds and typically has a mixed structure between hexahedrite and octahedrite. 2. Group 2 AB low in nickel content and primarily consists of octahedrites. 3. Group 3 IAB contains large amounts of gallium and germanium and shows a clear octahedrite structure. 4. Group IVB, very high nickel content, with a structure resembling a taxite. Ungrouped iron meteorites. In addition to the main groups, there are also ungrouped iron meteorites that do not fit into any known chemical group. These meteorites often have unique chemical characteristics or originate from unidentified parent bodies. Stony iron meteorites are a type of meteorite composed of both iron and silicates making them a unique type that combines features of both stony and iron meteorites. They are primarily classified based on their structure and chemical composition origins and include two main groups. One, palisite group composition. Palisite meteorites consist of olivine crystals embedded within an iron nickel matrix, creating a characteristic interspersed structure. The olivine crystals in palisites often have a shiny yellow-green color giving them a distinctive appearance when cut into thin slices and polished. 2. Mesosiderite group composition. 
Mesosiderites contain silicate minerals, similar to those found in stony meteorites, such as pyroxene and plagioclase, mixed with iron-nickel particles. Unlike palisites, mesosiderites have a more complex structure and contain iron that is less uniformly distributed. 3. Other classifications. Some stony iron meteorites do not fit into either of the above groups and may be classified as ungrouped. These meteorites may have unique structures or chemical compositions that make it difficult to determine a clear origin. The analysis of stony iron meteorites often requires specialized techniques, such as mass spectrometry for determining chemical composition and electron microscopy for observing crystal structure and mineral content.